You know what I can honestly see Joker doing that has actually happened in real life once? I can see the Joker actually pretending to be like a life-sized clown doll in somebody else's house without them even knowing that it's in there. And the crazy thing is this actually happened in real life around where I live. Basically, just to break it down, because I don't remember all the events, there was a babysitter babysitting a kid, and their parents were away for the weekend. Now, when the babysitter got to the house, she noticed that the kid wasn't going anywhere near this room that had this life-size clown doll within it. And the kid was very afraid of this clown doll. So, the babysitter kind of just called the parents and was basically like, uh, why is your son Rob, like, very afraid of this clown doll if it's just been in your house this entire time? So with this context and the babysitter telling the parents, the parents were quickly like, what? So the babysitter hearing the parents freak the fuck out, the babysitter approached the clown doll and found out that it was an actual human being inside of it. Now, the human being was asleep, thank God, because the clown could have just been a killer or something. So the babysitter kind of just saw the clown doll or the clown guy within the clown suit sleeping with his eyes closed in the mask holes and just breathing ever so slightly and the babysitter kind of just backed off and after promptly backing off and quickly grabbing the child that she was protecting they ran outside of the house called 911 and managed to get whoever this guy in a clown costume was out and arrested. Now, I don't really know the details per se on who the guy within the clown suit was, possibly a killer. I tried looking it up and I found out that there, there was some guy in like a totally different city where I live in that did the same thing, but it was, it ended up just being fake. But this is something that I can clearly see the Joker doing and I just kind of wanted to segue this into a story where Joker kind of gives this kid named Sergio the best birthday ever, because why not? As we start the story, we see a young, disturbed boy torturing little bugs, until the Joker approaches the boy from behind, asking him what is he doing. But as soon as the boy lays eyes on the clown, he begins to smile and says, you came. Joker's a little bit confused, but the boy says that his dad got him for his party, right? The Joker, a little bit surprised, he asks the boy if his dad just so happens to be Emiliano. The boy says yes so Joker agrees to be Sergio's birthday clown for the day. And while Sergio tortures his bugs, Joker asks if he can join as well. While torturing the bugs, Joker asks if he ever kills the insects, to which the boy says that he only kills them if they try to escape the box. And Joker says that Sergio is wise beyond his years. Joker then asks when the boy's party is supposed to start, but the boy says that it started an hour ago, and it doesn't look like anybody's showing up. So Joker asks Sergio why nobody's coming, and Sergio tells Joker that they all think he's a freak. So Joker's like, what? Seriously? You keep one box of torture bugs and everyone's so judgmental? So he tells Sergio a little secret, that everyone is a freak. Some people just feel like they have to hide it, but not us. You have your insects, and I have a lot. After this, Joker decides that he's gonna make things happen, so he tells the boy to go back inside and to get things started for the party, while the Joker handles the invitations. So Joker goes door to door, harassing different families, telling them to all go to Sergio's birthday party. He goes to the local skate park and tells one of the kids to go back home and take some of his best belongings and wrap them up for Sergio. He later goes to a different home and kills an uncooperative parent with a toaster, and tells the mother and child that they will go to Sergio's house for his birthday and they will ignore his odor and laugh at all of his jokes. And at the last house of the neighborhood, the Joker comes in and requests that the family provide birthday supplies along with snacks, and if they don't, he will kill and eat their cat. And later that same day, all the families around the neighborhood come together to Sergio's birthday party. And Joker is pleased that Sergio has had the best birthday party ever. And when his father walks through the door, completely forgetting about his own son's birthday, Joker says that he needs to have a little chat with him inside the kitchen. In the kitchen, the Joker says to the father that they had a job last night, and he wasn't there. Everyone else got beaten up by Batman, and Joker was coming here to kill him at first. But ever since he met Sergio, he thought maybe he should just play with him instead, like Sergio plays with his bugs. So the Joker tells Sergio's father to give him his non-dominant hand, and to tell his boy that when he sees him, that he just cut himself in the kitchen. So the Joker takes his knife and removes three of Sergio's father's fingers, and later serves the fingers as food to all the party members, except for Sergio. And after doing what he came here to do, he would tell Sergio that he'd be back 
back next year. But while leaving, Sergio would chase Joker out of the room to give him something. That'd be his torture bug box, as Joker is delighted to have them and tells Sergio that he will treasure this. And hugs Sergio, promising him that he'll only kill the bugs if they ever try to get out of the box, while looking at his father with a big grin on his face. Ending the story. I hope y'all liked this video, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.